this is a test of the Sony ZV-1 with active stabilization versus no stabilization in Catalyst Browse. And then compared to the DJI Pocket 2, just because that has a built-in gimbal. So this will be handheld, um, no stabilization, 1 over 200, which is usually the uh, shutter speed that you need for Catalyst Browse. So we're going to give that a try, and then I'll do the same exact walking test with active stabilization to see how that works out uh, compared to Catalyst Browse. So this is no active stabilization, which I'll run through Catalyst Browse. It's 1 over 250. ND filters on, onboard microphone on the ZV-1. Pocket 2 is just as is. I just don't know how much it's going to crop in on uh, ZV-1 with the Catalyst Browse software. Where I can get it where, I'm not going to do it optimal. I'm probably going to do it where it's good enough because I don't want it to crop in 30% or 25. So we'll see what maybe 10, 5 or 10% is. And I'll indicate it on the actual video. The sun's directly behind me. Just in case you're wondering about the lighting. It's mid-afternoon. Just by looking at the screen, I don't know how Catalyst Browse will. With as much bouncing as there is with uh, walking through the snow, it seems like it's going to have to crop a lot to keep it stable. Where the mechanical gimbal is... Uh, not an issue. So I'm out of the snow now. I'm just walking normal. Let's see how this is. Man, I'm really trying to hold it steady, and it's really hard. So this is Sony ZV-1 built-in microphone with the active stabilization compared to the DJI Pocket 2. Obviously there's more crap on the ZV-1 when you put on active stabilization. We'll see if it's worth it versus Catalyst Browse. It looks actually quite jumpy. Grant you I'm walking on snow as well. So it's kind of an extreme test. Sony ZV-1 with active stabilization.
stabilization on the ZV-1 isn't that great. It's only 15 degrees out today, so it's a cold day. Yeah. <laughs>